At this point, we are well acquainted with the ICJ case in which the United States of America has withheld the assets of Bank Markazi, an Iranian banking corporation. This decision was made in 2016, in which the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in favor of freezing the Iranian assets. The stated reason was to use the finances to compensate the families of American victims of the 1983 bombing of the U.S. Marine Corps barrack in Beirut, Lebanon. Today we have a victim's family member who claims that while her family was contacted about compensation, they have not yet received any, nor has the government been in constant communication to fulfill this promise. Thank you, Susie, for calling in today. No problem. Thanks so much for having me. Susie, can you tell me more about your experience? So yeah, um, a couple months after the official ruling in 2016, we were contacted by a government official briefing us on um, what money we'd be given, given my um, son's bravery and sacrifice in Beirut. Obviously money can, can't bring him back, but as a single mother, I needed the money and this was the first glimpse of positivity I've had in a while. I didn't expect the compensation immediately, however, but I was promised that a check would arrive by Christmas of that year. It's been two years and I've yet to receive any compensation or receive any updates. We are so sorry to hear that, Susie. Thank you for speaking with us today. Susie is in contact with other affected families who share the same experience. If the US government is not freezing these assets for their stated purpose, then where are the funds going? Furthermore, in an attempt to investigate these civilian claims, there has been an anonymous tip that suggested that the assets are being withdrawn in small increments by an undocumented source. All eyes are on the ICJ to resolve such possibility or at least authenticate whether this is true. I'm Ariana. And I'm Nicole Dragas. Thank you for joining us with Math One News.